Hi again, everybody. Rob Nugatola back here talking weather again. Uh, we're actually in the morning broadcast right now. Got a couple of guys over there anchoring in the show, taking a little break from doing the weather to talk about some of the other news of the day. Of course, the only real important news is the weather. What's happening for a lot of areas now is they're actually starting to remove some of the tornado watches and that's got more to do with the fact that the line itself is moving across the area and as it does what it'll do is it'll limit the possibility of that dangerous weather. Now for most of our areas the most dangerous part of the weather is actually these wind gusts that could knock down some power lines and that's one of our big concerns we're getting reports of a bunch of power outages in areas already and I think we're going to find more of those. The more we do of course we'll bring those to you. The big concern will be over the next hour or two, some of these strong wind gusts, also very heavy downpours that are continuing, and the lightning is still super impressive as it's been all night long. I think for a lot of us, by 9, 10 o'clock, we're going to start seeing a lot less activity on the radar, especially in our western and central sections, eastern areas that haven't had as much rain just yet. They're going to continue to get more and more, so we're going to be bringing you updates through the morning as this situation finally starts to calm down. Leon County still getting a lot of rain. I haven't been overly impressed with any of the rainfall totals yet, but I think when all the dust settles, there'll be some decent amounts of rain in areas. All right, we'll have more in a little while.